So since y'all want to go 50-50 on bills, let's go 50-50 on the chores. Nope. Let's go 50-50 on taking care of the kids. Yep. Let's go 50-50 on cooking. Nope. Okay? Let's go 50-50 on shopping, grocery shopping, all of that. You know, you can't just say, oh, I want to do 50-50, but only 50-50 with the bills. No, sir. If you want 50-50, it's going to be 50-50 with everything. So does that include um, yard work? Does that include shoveling snow when it snows? Does that include raking leaves when fall hit? Does that include keeping the grass cut when it's hot, 90, 100 degree weather? We gonna, we gonna split those chores too? I, I just wanna know. Just let me know. <laughs> I, that's what men wanna know. Since, 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 that, since you wanna go that route, let us know. Let, let us know if you want to do all, all all that manual labor. Nope. Let's keep it moving. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. Before we get started, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. On the road to 1,000 subs, baby. Let's get it. Alright, so if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. Today, I'm going to be reacting to what looks like a couple of TikTok clips. And they kind of, um, well, once again, they connect. Um, the first clip is going to be of a woman saying, um, you know, what men who are asking for 50-50 relationships, what they require, what she's making this kind of suggestion and sounds kind of similar to what I suggested like videos like I want to say like a couple weeks ago when I reacted to something similar but the way she does it it kind of comes off snarky and she's trying to split she's trying to split chores that well typically a woman would do and you know how that goes then the second clip is going to be of a guy giving you five reasons why you shouldn't should not pay all the bills all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it this is a message for the 50 50 men out there so since y'all want to go 50 50 on bills let's go 50 50 on the chores no nope. let's go 50 50 on taking care of the kids yeah. let's go 50 50 on cooking nope okay let's go 50 50 on shopping grocery shopping all of that you know you can't just say oh i want to do 50 50 but only 50 50 with the bills no sir if you want 50 50 it's gonna be 50 50 with everything so does that include um yard work does that include shoveling snow when it snows does that include raking leaves when fall hit does that include keeping the grass cut when it's hot, 90, 100 degree weather? We gonna, we gonna split those chores too? I, I just wanna know. Just let me know. <laughs> I, that's what men wanna know. Since, 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 that, since you wanna go that route, let us know. Let, let us know if you wanna do all, all, all that manual labor. Nope. Let's keep it moving. Everything. Now, personally, I don't, I don't like the 50-50 idea. I'm very traditional, old school. I feel like the man should be the head of the household, take care of the household. Of course, I'm gonna make my own money. But as far as splitting the mortgage or rent with you, mm -mm. at this point, we might as well be roommates. Are we in a relationship or are we roommates? What is my purpose here? If you're asking me to split a mortgage or rent, we are roommates. You must understand what you Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this is what we dealing with, fellas. I'm gonna make my own money, but if I gotta help you pay, if I gotta help, if I gotta help you pay the bills, we roommates. And these women wonder why they can't get nobody to take them seriously. Why don't nobody? Why don't, men don't want to get married anymore? It's like it's almost as if, like nowadays, you can't be treated the way a man should be treated unless you're paying all the bills and paying for everything. In an economy where you really need two incomes to really thrive and have any chance of generational wealth. 
And the women in this country are very stubborn and they don't want to take advantage of that because, oh, I make my own money. Why do I? If y'all combine y'all incomes together, I guarantee you most most average or slightly above average earners, if they were to get together and put their money together, they could all own houses and create generational wealth for, for their offspring. But we live in a society that pushes women to be so selfish that they don't put they don't put family first anymore. They put themselves first. Meanwhile, somehow, some way, men are still expected and being raised to put family first, to put everybody else first besides themselves. Interesting. All right. All right. So moving on to this next clip, man. Homie right here going to give you five reasons why you should not pay all the bills and y'all let me y'all let me know what y'all think because these seem to be pretty legitimate without further ado let's keep it moving reasons why the average man should never pay all the bills and why you should make these modern women go have let's get it reason number one is because we live in a society like most societies around the world that have evolved to the point to where women now have the right to work and make money which is something that they fought for and if you fight for the right to work and make money, then you by default fought for the right to pay bills. He's the number two. And you know what? He is right. Like the girl from the previous clip just said, I'm, I'm going to make my own money, but I feel like <laughs> merch. The, one, the man should be ahead of the household and he's paying all the bills because if not, we're roommates. Right. But you got this boss chick mentality and you saying you're going to make your own money. This is exact, ladies, this is exactly why your money will never mean anything to a man. Because all, most of y'all carry this mentality. And it conflict, is contradicting. Why is that so hard for y'all to see? It's like, are y'all that naive? Are y'all that stupid? Or are y'all just that selfish and y'all don't care? I don't know, let's keep it moving. Boom. Is because the ideology of feminism and women themselves have told us for the past I don't know how many decades that women are equal to the men. Um, I want to say about mm, about six decades now, pretty much since the 1960s. I'm telling you, them 1960s, them 1960s, man. Something else. I'm thinking about doing a video on that, man. Like for real, like really dig deep. Yeah, you know I mean, give people some perspective on how we got to where we are now when it comes to the day market. Let's keep it moving. And equality equates to 50-50. Reason number three, the notion that a man should pay all the bills simply because he's a man is a traditional gender role. Mm. And although I personally believe in traditional gender roles for the most part, we don't live in a traditional society that has traditional women. Right? We live in a new age society that has new age women. And whenever we try to hold new age women to traditional standards, you know what they tell us? We are not our grandmothers. And you know what? Like, he's right, though. And I've made several videos about this. Women are still holding men to a traditional standard when they're not even traditional themselves. It's like, ladies, you can't expect to want a man to pay for everything but then on the flip side want to scream this independent you don't need a man you know what i mean i got my own money quit claim quit talking about how you got your own money only to turn around and expect a man to spend all his on you what are you doing with your money to help contribute to this legacy that we trying to build i'm just supposed to pay everything and you just pocket all your money and then we get married and then five ten years down the line you take half of everything i got and the whole time you was working and you never contributed any of your money to the table. See where I'm getting at, ladies? The 2% of y'all that's watching, that's why a lot of y'all are single and can't get any serious commitment. There is the, the incentive for men to be with y'all long term is pretty much non-existent. And no matter how much evidence we try to show in front of y'all face, no matter how much truth we try to show and we try to put in y'all face, it ain't enough. It's just met with more and more and more rebellion, more rebellion, more rebellion. Damn, like we just got a bunch of Britney Renners at, um, around here, bro. Let's keep it moving. In like manner, we are not our grandfathers. Because I'd be damned if you hold me to a traditional standard while you tell me I'm crazy for thinking you're going to do traditional shit that applies to your agenda. 
Cool. Ain't neither one of us gonna be doing traditional shit. We all gonna be some new age motherfuckers around here. And that's just how you gotta carry it as a man dating in the 21st century. Because the selfishness and the entitlement of these new age women is crazy and a nick to me ain't going. Which leads me to reason number four, which is most new age women are ridiculously selfish and entitled. And if you dating these women and dealing with these women, then you have to be equally selfish, not entitled, but equally selfish and equally concerned with what is in your best interest. Because that's what she's going to do. And not only are they going to be concerned with what's in their best interest, they're going to do it shamelessly. You're not going to be able to shame her for thinking about what's best for her. And you know what? He's he's a thousand percent correct because this is one of the reasons why, why it seems like we're in the middle of a gender war now. Like men, men are held to this un, unrealistic standard and the moment men give any kind of pushback we're met with all the sign language in the world it's one of the reasons why kevin samuels caught so much heat you know what i mean a man a man finally put a mirror to y'all face and y'all ain't like it but for decades men have had to take all this shame and all this disrespect and all this talking down from women and we were just expected to sit there and take it and then on and then on top of that worship y'all and obsess over y'all and now that the obsession and pedestalizing y'all is starting to become more bleak now women are complaining about men aren't doing this enough and men don't obsess over us and men men got us fighting for spots and that's how it should be there's more of y'all on this planet than there is men and there's far more attractive women on this planet than there are successful men which 80 to 90 percent of women want it's a numbers game but see but y'all don't like that yeah that that's too much truth you know what i mean that's too much truth that's not um fantasy land let's keep it moving like manner you cannot let these women shame you for thinking about what's best for you and they're going to do that they got they, they have all kind of shame and tactics which is one of their superpowers that's a whole nother video you have to be equally nonchalant unfazed unbothered as they are when men try to shame them uh for their lack of living up to their gender role their traditional gender role reason number five before we get into that last reason man i, I gotta touch on this man because this is something that really grinds my gears with women bro they will use these shaming tactics to try to humble you down on your standards which I need to do a video. I need to do a reaction video to that. Because O'Shea Duke Jackson. Man he was speaking some facts on this bro. Because if you pay attention to the Kendra G show. This is one of the reasons why Kendra G always gets way more women calling in than men. The men who call in. No matter how successful they are. No matter how realistic they are with their, with, with their standards. There's always women in the comments bashing, but but a woman but a woman to pop on on there be average looking, overweight, and she wants a man making six figures or more. And the moment Kendra gives them a little pushback, you got women in the comments hating on Kendra. But a guy can but a guy can be six foot tall, in his forties, making enough money to where his wife can stay at home and take care of the children. You can rest in your feminine. All he's asking for you is to be fit, feminine, and friendly like Kevin Samuels was said. And the first thing these women did was try to say, oh, he must like white women. Fit, feminine, and friendly. Where in that, where in those three things did you get white women from? And then y'all get mad with a black man that does got, that is, that is doing well for himself. Go and deal with a white woman. Man, y'all y'all shooting yourselves in the foot. Shut up. Let's keep it moving. And this is a big one. Paying all the bills is not gonna make her love you no more, value you no more, desire you no more, respect you no more, or submit to you no more than she would if she was going 50-50. And you know what? Ah, man. That last one, that's that's tough. But it's kind of hard to disagree with that one too because, I mean, think about it, bro. Look at all the millionaires. Hell. Ever since, ever since the pandemic hit, look at all the millionaires that got divorced by their wives, man. 
Like these are women that literally have it all and it still ain't enough. And then women, why am I getting the bare minimum? Why am I getting the bare minimum? I'm like, because men see these examples of millionaires getting divorced. And it's always the same thing, irreconcilable differences. No real reason. She just, quote unquote, not happy anymore or whatever the case may be. And then these women end up being, and then these women get divorced in their 40s and 50s. Then can't find nobody else that take them seriously or they end up with a beta male, beta cup, one of the two. That's what I'm saying, man. Like women are shooting themselves in the, in, in the foot with this independent boss chick mentality. And the reason why y'all shooting y'all selves in the foot, because y'all, because deep down, y'all still have that biological wiring of, I want a man to take care of me and protect me. You feel me? That like, that's, that, that, that thought process is imprinted in y'all brain. Like y'all are, women are just wired like that. That's biology. It's human nature. I think just us as human beings, period, we need to get to a place where we need to quit ignoring our natural instincts instead of just doing what we're socially constructed to do. And it's, it's killing a nuclear family, bro. And at the end of the day, we can't build communities without family. You know what I mean? But I like to know what y'all think about this, man. Um, should a man, after him saying this, you know what I mean? Should, should a man not pay all the bills, even if he's in a position to do so? Or, you know... Whatever the case may be, man. Y'all y'all might have different scenarios that I'm not thinking of. And plus, I don't want to make this video too long, all right? All right? Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this, all right? I really want to hear what y'all got to say about it. All right, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting the bell notification so that way y'all know when I'm uploading. And until the next video, y'all. Deuces.